Torah TV. The world is thinking. So, we have two problems. We have the color of illumination is variable, and the color of space is variable. So who cares? The reason why this matters is that if we go back to Berkeley, or Berkeley, depending where you come from, right, we have no direct access to the physical world other than through the light that falls onto our eyes. Okay? So imagine the stimulus. The stimulus is the light that falls onto your eyes. And imagine we're here. Okay? That's what's hitting your eye. Now, the quality of that light is determined by three things in the world. The transmittance of the space between you and objects, the reflectance of the objects, and the color of the illumination. You vary any one of those three things, and you'll vary the quality of light that hits your eye. Okay? So we can't see these things directly. We can only see the combination of them. Okay? So, imagine this is the back of your eye. Okay? Imagine this is your retina. And this is a projection onto the retina from objects in the world. And these two projections are identical in every way. Okay? They're identical in their spectral quality, their shape, their size. Everything about them is the same. And yet, those two projections come from completely different sources. So here's one projection up there, right? Coming from an orange surface under direct light, oriented this way, viewed through some sort of bluish surface. The other projection is there, a yellow rectangle in shadow, oriented that way, viewed through a pink medium. In other words, two completely different sources generating exactly the same projection onto your eyes. Right? If you're... What does that mean? What that means, imagine being given the equation x times y equals z. You're given z, and you have to solve for x without ever knowing y. Impossible, right? There's an infinite number of combinations of x and y that can give you that z. That's the problem that the brain has to deal with. There's an infinite combination of reflectance and illumination that can give rise to any stimulus. A light surface under dark light will generate the same stimulus as a dark surface under bright light. Okay? So if you remember anything, remember that the patterns of light that fall into you are meaningless because they could mean anything. Right? We might look out to the world and see all kinds of meaning, but that's because you're looking at it after your brain has processed it. What we are not seeing is the image itself, and that image is inherently meaningless. So how then does the brain see? And the way it sees is that it learns to see. Okay? First, it has to find relationships, patterns, and images. And then it has to associate those patterns with a meaning. And it's that meaning that we see, that behavioral significance. So we never see what's there, because we can't. What we can only ever see is what was useful to see in the past. 